Hello, it's day 17 of the Man with the Invisible Trousers, or strictly it's day 18, but uh, this is all about the day 17 stuff. Let's have a look where we are. I've been working, uh, well, first, I don't think this menu was here last time, but it's not a very special menu. There's a play button and a don't play button, and right now, that will eventually be a sponsor link, but right now it's to the level editor that I've been producing. Huzzah, there is one. <laughs> It's real, and it's good, and it's quite swooshy, and stuff. So that's awesome. Um, this is about... So it was about five hours work yesterday, and what you do is you choose a tile here, and you click, and it uh, it builds it, and I've got all my different types of tiles here, so I can make a circle if I do this. Wee, look at this bloody amazing circle. Um, there's an export feature, and there's also an import feature which functions um, quite well. And possibly the bestest thing about it, which will probably glitch now, because everything glitches when I try and show it here, is I have a row plus and minus bottom and a columns plus and minus. So I have I can add rows and I can add columns. Isn't that nice? Uh I hope that wasn't off shot. Um I think it's 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 a nice time to explain a bit about arrays and how my levels are produced. And you see here I have made a set of numbers and dots just to demonstrate the theory behind it. If you imagine all the eights were walls and all the dots are blank spaces, um, that's kind of what the code looks like and essentially what um, what I've done is m make something that shows it graphically uh, so that it looks nicer and it's easier to work with so that you're not writing 15 in and wondering what 15 is. Um, now uh, to to just explain quickly the um what the new row button does basically is it adds a row like that and then it replaces oh dear it replaces um all of the row above it in the center with uh with spaces so that the row is cleanly added and it's not just a solid wall it's it's a gap because gap is usually more useful um and meanwhile, so that's one type of function, it's just adding an entire row. Um, while the one for adding a column basically has to go through, and for every single row, it has to add a square block. Um, and then from this, it has to replace all of these ones with dots, like that. Um, I'm not going to do all that because it's boring. Um, but that's the theory behind it. So for rows, it's much simpler, it's just blah dump and for columns you have to cycle through every every row and change just the row a little bit uh, which is just a little bit of the theory behind it see I can, well, I can select a row but I can't select a column, it's just like a text editor isn't that nice? and now you know <laughs> um, did I have anything else to say on this? oh yes, and removing a row is easy, removing column is a um, more complicated process that just cycles through it all again, you know, say it, same old, same old. Um, so that's a little bit of the theory behind it, it's it's quite swooshy, it, I've got some nice easing going on here, and you can build an entire level here, export it, and run it straight in the code if you just export and then use all that code. So that's nice. Oh yes, there's another number at the end here. This, if you can read that, that says 5.06, and what that means is that this person is at five, five across and six down. Um, and I can shake him around, export again, and that number changes. So just at the very end of the array, there's a number that gets deleted that just tells temporarily where the player is. So that's how that's made. I hope that's that's kind of informative, that's probably the most informative video I've done yet, so that's nice, I hope you liked that, and I'll have another video up, um, hopefully later tonight, after I've done more on it, this is early here. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, bye!